10 years ago this October, we interviewed a man who was literally given a second chance at life. He had died at his home of a heart attack, but thanks to a new treatment at the time, doctors were able to preserve, preserve his body long enough to perform surgery before reviving him. And now a decade later, he's celebrating a 10 mile run on his next checkup. Our Brian Burns sat down again with Bill Lathrop and members of his family to talk about this very special anniversary. It was a miracle and it's God's deal, not ours. And uh, not many people, you know, survive and uh, that, uh, that it's an incredibly emotional memory for Bill Lathrop. While he couldn't remember the heart attack, his wife Kathy will never forget. It was a very distinct gurgling sound. His body, his air was leaving his body and it immediately woke me up and, and I started yelling his name. And when I turned on the light, he had just began to completely be out of air anymore. No air, his eyes were open, he was, he was dead. The first time I interviewed Bill, he said he was grateful for all the people who worked on him to save his life. That included two ambulance crews, hospital staff, and doctors. One of those caregivers was cardiologist Dr. Thomas Alexander, who said Bill was the first patient in the area ever to be treated with a process called targeted temperature management. Bill is a, a success story. He ran 20 miles a day before he had the cardiac arrest. No one knew that he was sick. The refrigeration procedure they used on Bill was totally uncommon 10 years ago, but it's a lot more common now, leading to a much higher survival rate for this kind of heart attack. 600,000 Americans have sudden cardiac arrest every year. Only 20 percent survive to hospital discharge. So Bill is, a, is an amazing miracle. The doctor says they lower the body temperature so there is less severe damage for someone brought back to life. Bill told me how he sank to his knees to give thanks as he left the hospital. I reach up here all the time. I'm touching the two wires to my heart and uh, the, uh, I, I know it's a miracle, man. Brian Burns, 3 News. Remarkable, really remarkable is. story. And Bill and members of his church produced a video to talk about the miracle that he experienced. You can find the link to that video on our website, cagebligtv.com. We're so happy to hear that. Absolutely, Tate amazing Blair, story. Doing well. Amazing yeah. story.